So here we now start looking at the concept of orthogonality. Orthogonality is a bigger um, is a bigger concept, uh, the sort of um, uh, mother type of concept of uh, perpendicularity. So in R2 and R3, we are familiar with the concepts of perpendicularity, which is a geometrical idea when two lines are perpendicular to each other means they're at 90 degrees to each other. The, the bigger concept than that is the concept of orthogonality. Perpendicularity is a form, is one aspect of orthogonality. In R2 and R3, in fact, orthogonal vectors means they are perpendicular to each other. So um, what does orthogonality, uh, what, what is the bigger idea of orthogonality? A more general concept of orthogonality. The definition is that if we take the dot product of two vectors and that dot product turns out to be zero, we say that u and v are orthogonal to each other. Now that remains consistent even if we look at the definition, which by the way, now we know in fact that uh, u, v, okay, cosine theta is a valid, um, uh, the, the, well, other way around, saying that theta is cosine inverse of um, u dot v over um, norm u norm v. We know that for a fact this is true in Rn because of the because of the cauchy shorts inequality as we discussed earlier. Now here, if you think about it, this also validates um, because what, what you're saying is if u dot v is zero, that means we're looking at cosine inverse of zero in fact, which we know is pi over two uh, or n pi over two, I should say, okay, which is n pi over two uh, with n equals um, uh, one, three, five, seven, so for odd n. So, but I'm just looking at pi over two here for a second just to show you that it does reflect the geometrical concept of um, of angle being in 90 degree. So, or th so, the, so the concept is in fact consistent. The other thing I want you to think about is the other notation that is used quite generally in, um, in for, for vectors, especially when we look at engineering, the three uh, unit vectors i, j, and k. Now the three i, j, and k vectors are in fact orthogonal to each other. i dot j is equal to j dot k, okay, is equal to i dot k, all right, and that's actually equal to zero. So these vectors are orthogonal to each other, in fact. Okay, so i, j, j, k, or i, k. Um, so in, in other words, uh, in other words, um, these are unit vectors that are orthogonal to each other. That's why they represent the three axes in three dimensions. They would represent the three axes. So you, you have your j axis, the y axis here, you have the i axis here, and you have the k axis here. So these are unit vectors, in fact. They, they represent the axes, but they're actually unit vectors. And then you can have, like, for instance, 2i plus 3j plus 6k is the same as the vector 2, 3, 6. Okay, so that's just, you know, just uh, completing that idea that you should be familiar, you should be familiar with the ijk notation as well. Okay, so let's uh, um, let's move further. The vector i, just for your information, the vector i, for instance, is one zero zero in three D, and the vector j is zero one zero, and the vector k is zero zero one. Okay, just for information, we're not going to be using this in this course, but um, it is that's how it is. So now we go further and decide and define the concept of the normal. And you can have a normal that is normal to a line or normal to a plane. More commonly, normal to the line is um, orthogonal to the line. And normal to the plane is, of course, or, uh, a vector that is orthogonal, in fact, to the entire plane. Normal vectors uh, are usually used with in, in conjunction with planes, but they can also be used in conjunction with lines. They represent the concept of inclination. As you know, when we have um, an equation of a line, if we want to find the equation of a line, this is a line, here's another line, and here's another one, and here's another one, and here's another one. What is important is if we have a point on the line and we know this, um, you know, this kind of orientation, this angle theta or tan theta, which is the slope of the line, we can figure out the equation of the line, the well-known point-slope form. If you remember, that's y minus uh, y1 equals m into x minus x1, known as the point uh, slope 
um, form of the equation of the line. Now, in a similar way, if we think of the normal to the plane, which is, in fact, a vector that is perpendicular uh, in, in 2D, for a, for a line, it would be a vector that is orthogonal to the line, okay? And we define the normal vector n, for instance, in uh, 2D, let's say it's AB, okay? Then we know that if we were to look at, uh, for instance, um, uh, some point in uh, on a line, say this is a vector, okay, or a line, and you have uh, two points on this, suppose the point P0, okay, and uh, any point P, all right, general point P. So P0 is, for instance, X0, Y0, and P is XY. So here's P and here's P0. So what happens is, if I look at, in fact, P0, P, so P0, P, the line, turns out to be, in vector form, it's X minus X0 and Y minus Y0, okay? So now, if I were to say what is the dot product, this is a vector now, so if I take the dot product of these two, okay, they should be zero, in fact, okay, it should, get, it should be zero. So in other words, if I take, uh, this means that I end up with A into X minus X zero plus B into Y minus Y zero, okay, is equal to zero. And actually, if you look at that, that's the equation of a line. And in fact, you can derive from this, uh, the, the, the uh, point slope form as well can come from this, which I will leave to you to uh, figure out yourself. But here, um, so we end up with this. Now, in a similar way, in a similar way, we can extend the idea to three dimensions, okay? In that case, uh, we, we will be looking at a plane. So here, this is a line, okay? This is a line, if we were looking at the point normal equations, these be called the point normal equations, just for your reference, these are called point normal equations. And this is line, and now I'm going to look at plane. So the point normal equation of the plane would be then a into x minus x0 plus b into y minus y0 plus c into z minus z0 and that's supposed to be equal to zero. And that would be the equation of a plane, as you would know, the familiar equation, in fact, of a plane. So um, this way we can actually, using the normal uh, in R2 and R3, we can have the equation of a line in R2 and equation of a plane in R3.